Let's get started. Good morning. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Chair Yoga Flex class. I'm Olivia. Let's get started. Sit against the back of your chair, if you will. Create a little balance, a little harmony using your breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. Settle in, and I ask you to sit back so you can really focus on the breath and really nothing else but that. So it's time to let go and be present. And with that exhale, open your eyes, soft gaze, and let's travel out to the end of your seat so your sit bones are right underneath you. Your heart, your mind are prepared for some yoga. That palms rest there on the thigh muscles and let the shoulders draw away from your ears so the elbows are going to draw downward towards the ground. That neck gets really long when that happens. And we'll tip the head over. But imagine you're trying to listen to the ceiling. So instead of crunching down on this, you're finding length. Chin down towards your chest. Tr uh, uh, draw it back up. <laughs> trying to get you to tuck the chin in. Other side, same thing. Tip, but listen to the ceiling. You feel a little different sensation when that happens than if you just crunch down on the shoulder. Drop the chin towards your chest and slide it back up. That's what I was trying to say before. And then same thing on the other side. Again. And slide it back up. And one more over to the left. <coughs> and then right back up. All right. Now with your nose, let's make a figure eight right in front. So you're going to look over to the <coughs> left and then over to the right, up, down, around. One more time, and then just bring it right back to the center. Lifting the heart, the chin just a little bit. Please never let the head fall back. You'll cram up those cervical vertebrae. vertebrae. We actually say about 30 degrees lifting, and then just tuck the chin. And again, lift, and tuck the chin. And then just let your chin rest on that imaginary shelf right there in front of you. Let the arms release down to your side. I'll scooch out just a little more. I can't see Ginger. <laughs> and let the palms turn towards the front. Okay. Shoulder blades are going to draw together and then slide them down your back. So they're going to point down towards the tailbone. Notice that chest is going to lift just a little bit. Yeah. And then reaching the fingers up. Let's do a little circle here. Connecting this with breath, keep it smooth, and then we're going to go the other way. And again. One more time. All right, and all the way back down. Now shrug the shoulders and then push them down. And then draw the shoulder heads to the front corners of your imaginary box and the back corners. All right, we shrug, push down, roll them forward, and roll them back. All right, shrug. Push them down, roll forward, and roll back. Deep breath in. Forward fold. Belly in here, eyes up, heart forward. Circle sweep and come all the way up. Deep breath. Release back down. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath. Forward fold. A little tuck in the chin this time. And then inhale, halfway rise. That heart moves forward. Put the sit bones back on the chair and reach into chair pose. All right, powerful pose from here. Pressing the elbows back, and let's try to press the knuckles back a little bit as well. Yeah, so 
Holding that nice and tall and deep breath. Turn to the right, let the arms float down just to your legs, your hips, and then get that spine straight. I'm looking to the right wall, maybe the right diagonal, but I am looking to the right, and maybe if you're able, turn the chin a little bit more. Top, drop the chin, trace the collarbone, come up, up looking over the left shoulder. Oh, it looks kind of sassy like this. <laughs> Back to the front, deep breath. Forward fold, halfway rise, circle sweep, come into that powerful pose again. Working the back, shoulder blades together, shoulder blades slide down your back and you're gonna fire on those abdominal muscles here as well. Nice, reach to the ceiling, turn to the left, let them float. Okay. And again, even on those sit bones, that rotation is maybe started a little bit in the hips and then to the ribs and the shoulders, but that spine is straight, maybe turn the gaze if you can. All right, from here we're gonna extend the arms to the left and wash that wall right in front. Coming side to side. Pay attention to what's happened to your breath. Now, a little more movement. Are we still nice and calm? Or do we start to get a, a, a little bit of a catch in it? And again, I turned it on. That's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't remember doing that. <laughs> and again, all right. Leave that left arm there, come over to the left side, and then let's take the right one out here. So now, I want you to use the hands here. It's almost like you're gonna pick something up and then let it go back down. So bring, can y'all see that in the back? You're gonna bring the fingertips together and let them go back down. Made me think, makes me think of those butterflies. I know. One more time. All right. And then bring the hands together here. We're just going to separate the joints just a little bit. So just give it ever so tight little, a little pull, maybe a little wiggle. And then let's go through the, the fingers. So just a little tug. You don't need to pop the knuckles, all right, like my kids do. Just a little gentle pull on the joints and a little bit of a wiggle. Each hand, each finger. And then we'll go to the other side, same thing. Fingers grow about a quarter of an inch when you do that. <laughs> Gravity is working against us from the day we're born. <laughs> and we have to work at keeping the joints apart instead of smashing up. So today we'll work a little bit on spine, spinal work because they're going to start to do this, right? We're going to start to come down. I uh, learned something uh, yesterday, um, uh, a way to get everybody to... Um, to sit up straight, two ways. I'm going to show you one right now. The other one, when I stand up, is uh, somebody in my class was telling me that her, her, she was a musician. And she taught in schools, and she said, "I used to tell the kids, get your ribs out of your lunch." <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah, I just love it. So, get your ribs out of your lunch. Yeah, let the hands slide back towards the crease of the hip. We'll take a little bit of a heart lift here. Squeeze the shoulder blades, and then hands go to the kneecaps. And just round the upper body. So I'm not going to get into the low back just yet. This is just the upper body. Hands at the crease of the hip. The heart comes forward. Hands on the kneecaps. Round just the upper body. So you're going to stretch across the back. And again, shoulder blades together. Let them slide down your back. And then to the kneecaps. Okay, we're going to take this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to lift the heart right here. And then I'm going to round the back. So this is where you put that beach ball right in front. Scoop the whole belly. You're going to roll back towards the tailbone a little bit. And then come right back up. Sit tall on the sit bones. <coughs> lift. Exhale. Scoop the belly. You want to lift up and over this beach ball. And you'll really separate those vertebrae there. And again, rolling back towards the sit, the sit bones, tailbone. And get a nice C curve to your spine. We call it in Pilates. One more time. And back. All right, let's take the arms out to the side. Widen the feet just a little bit. And we'll go side to side now. Spine's a little more warmed up. What I want you to think about doing is using those obliques to get yourself back up. Nothing moving in the low half. My legs aren't moving. 
it's all on the upper half of the body and as I come back up I use that those obliques inside one more time now I'm going to place my left hand palm up on my leg and reach to the ceiling hand on the shoulder we're going to roll that shoulder back so a little bit of work in the upper body here roll that shoulder back towards the back Two more. All right, let's go to the other side. We hinge over, rest the wrist. If you need to take the palm there, that's fine, or palm down, reaching to the ceiling. Now, fingertips to the shoulder, and then roll that elbow back. Notice how that's gonna rotate the upper part of your body just a wee bit. And make the back work, make the front body stretch. And one more time. All the way back up, walk your feet in, hands on the chair, lift the heart, get your ribs out of your lunch. Hinge forward into chair pose. Nice. And coming into powerful pose, <coughs> encourage that good posture, let those elbows press back a little bit. When I say press back, I don't mean press back this way, I mean press back this way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Reach to the ceiling. Feet underneath you. We're going to get ourselves up, whatever you need to do, up we go doesn't matter to me. Okay, here's the next thing I learned about a next a little way to get, I love, I love, everybody has a different way of, of uh, teaching something. And this one is really cute. It's, you want you to imagine you've put on a short jacket and there's a zipper at the bottom. So you're gonna put that zipper together and then as you zip it up, you come upright. Right? Yeah. Who zips something up and looks this way? <laughs> yeah, you gotta get, you wanna get it underneath your chin. Voila! <laughs> I just love it. So, put your coat on, zip it up, take a nice deep breath in, and come back to just mounted pose. And think about that. Nice straight spine. Little micro bend in your knees here. Okay, so the tailbone draws downward towards the earth. Yeah. Let the shoulder heads draw to the side walls of your imaginary box. Yeah, so they're not rounding here and they're not back here. They're right to the side walls. Feel the chest body. The palms begin to press forward here a little bit. Those elbows tuck in. Yeah. All right, deep breath in. Hands to your heart, drop your chin to your chest. One little moment, one little intention set. All right, and let's begin. Shake out, move around to the back of the chair, grab yourself a drink of water, and let's get going. So we're up and at them. <laughs> I think this will be a sun salutation day. How about that? It's such a nice day. Let's do Let's bring in the sunshine. Okay. So from the back of the chair, give yourself a little bit of room there. Come into that mountain pose once again, a little soft bend in the knees. I think first we're gonna come into that chair pose. So send those hips back, open up the arms, deep breath in, forward fold. Come right down the center. We take that halfway rise, heart moves forward. Exhale into chair pose. All right, from here, hands find the chair. You're gonna step back into downward facing dog. And those courses will look different every time I every time you do this, so don't get used to always seeing the same thing. Today we're going to step forward on the right foot, bring the heart forward, upward facing dog, step back into downward facing dog. Step that right foot in, turn that left toe out in the back, rise up into warrior one. Deep breath in. Let's take the arms out. One hand on the chair if you need it. We're going to circle sweep forward and then come back. This time I'm going to lift my front toe and bend the back knee. Now, if you need the chair, go ahead and bring it with you. It's okay. If not, just a little circle around one more time. Rise right up into warrior one once again. Left hand down. Wave to everybody on the right. Drop that hand down and back up. And let's step back to downward facing dog. Breathing deep. Elbow under the back wall, tip the pelvis forward. You get a great stretch in those hamstrings. They get really, really tight. Take the gaze over the chair, step in halfway on the left foot. We're gonna ride up, come into the upward facing dog. Take the gaze up, stepping back. Mm -hmm. This time.
time we turn that right toe out, come into warrior one, rising up. Let's bend the elbows here once again. Press the elbows back. All right, we're gonna come forward and then come back. You can lift the toe if you want, you don't have to. Elbows come right back. We get a little strength in the back right here. And again, feel those shoulder blades draw together, really work that. All right, and hold this here. We rise up into warrior one. Left hand wave to that person at the left, look to the left, and we circle down and back up. One more time, back up. Both hands on the chair, step back to downward facing dog. Tip that pelvis forward, belly in, lowering the heart as much as you're comfortable, lowering down, just not below the head there, that's not necessary, but lowering it down. Hands back to the legs, the thighs, and reverse swan dive all the way back up. Deep breath in and coming down. All right, a little shake out. And let's come around to the right side of the chair. Okay, so turn towards the chair. Deep breath in. Forward fold. You're gonna halfway rise, heart comes forward. And then circle sweep into that chair pose. Your hands are coming right over the chair there. Hands find the chair. Step back on the, uh, let's see, left foot? I'm not sure. Right foot. Or the other. Or the other. Yeah, stay right there. Stay right where you are. Okay. Rise up into warrior one. Beautiful. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. You're feeling a great stretch in that inner thigh. Now reach forward over the chair. Lift that back heel. Put your shoulders right over top of the wrist. I'm going to put a good firm grip on the chair. You can come to the knuckles if you want, but I'm going to say you're going to probably want to avoid that plank position if we do that. Now, you may stay here or slide the other foot out in plank position. Up to you entirely. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Breathing deep. Look towards the chair. Step in on the left foot, right foot. Circle sweep, come into chair pose. Rise right back up, deep breath in. And all the way down. Okay, we'll do this again. Deep breath. Forward fold. Half, uh, circle sweep into chair pose. Hands are right over the chair. So get yourself near the chair. We're gonna put hands on the chair. Step back on the right foot. Toe ball heel down, rise up into warrior one. to the chair, lift that back heel, put the shoulders right over top of the wrist. You may stay right there if you'd like, or you can step that left foot back to plank position, heart moving forward, don't look down at the chair, lovely, lovely. Back to downward facing dog. Take that nice deep breath in. Step in on the right foot, left foot, reverse swan dive all the way back up, deep breath in. Out. Very, very nice. Very nice. Let's go around to the back of the chair. Another downward facing dog. This time, step your feet out wider than chair width apart if you're comfortable with that. And then a little, uh, drop the hips over to one side and then the other side. Push, push the hips to one side and then the other side. Now, I'm doing this with straight legs, but you can bend the knees too. Doesn't matter. Getting a little inner thigh stretch as you do this. And take the gaze over the chair, walk your feet together, and then step in and let's step the feet wide again. So heels are gonna line up with the legs of the chair and toes are gonna turn out. And we're gonna sink into this goddess pose. I also heard somebody say the other day that these are the muscles of independence <laughs> that allow you to do and live the kind of life that you want to live, right? So these are the muscles that help you get out of that chair, get up the toilet, get up the stairs, and get down the stairs, all right? So we're just going to hang here for a minute, come into our goddess pose. Let's try one arm first and pressing the elbow back a little bit. So maybe it's lined up with the shoulder if you can. And then should you find balance, both feet on the ground here, my knees are bent, we're gonna take the other one back as well. Yeah, that tailbone draws down to the ground. 
so it's not sticking out. It's drawing right down. Knees are tracking in the direction of the toes. They're not over the toes. Just a little bit of a bend. All right, just reaching the arms out wide. Let's take this little hinge here. Reach to the ceiling. Circle that arm around. We're gonna come to the other side. Firm from the navel down, all right? Breathe. Circle around. Other side. Deep breath. And circle around how our legs feeling, okay? And all the way back out. Okay, give yourself a hug. And then almost like you're going to take your shirt off all the way on, come back to our goddess pose. So I'm gonna lift one heel and then the other heel. Anytime you need to put hands on the chairs, if it gets to be too much on the shoulders, go ahead and do so. Without doing a lot of rocking, all right, just lift the heel. There we go. Nice, nice. So I'm gonna put both hands on the chair and I'm gonna lift both heels up. Getting closer to the chair, chair there, Gloria. You need to scoot in there. Yeah, so you can stand up tall. Nice. And maybe you find a little balance, maybe you don't. Keep the hands tapping, whatever. All right, rise up. Heels down. Toe heel, walk them back in. And give them a little shake. All right, very, very nice. Back to mountain pose. We'll work the legs a little bit more. Come into, uh, still mountain pose, but I've lifted the right heel up. So I have transferred the weight. I'm gonna press that right foot into the ground Although my knee isn't locked, it's working really hard. Take that work into the glute as well. And should you find a little balance, let that foot leave the earth, curl the heel to the seat, and then we'll shoot it back. Use the chair anytime you need it. Toe ball heel down. I'm gonna windmill that right arm around and come into our warrior two. So let's get set up here. That right toe faces the right wall, that left toe faces the chair, okay? Left hand over the chair, Right hand reaches to your neighbor behind, and you are looking to the right wall. Beautiful. Press the knuckles towards the left. So turn the palms to the right wall, and then press the knuckles back. Yeah. Open the chest a wee bit more. And I'm going to come into reverse. If you need the chair, you're just going to want to drop that hand and turn. Otherwise, I'm going to lift that left arm skyward. Did we get that? Yes. <laughs> we got it. Awesome. Awesome. Keep that tailbone drawing to the ground. It's going to want to bump up there, but keep it drawing to the ground. Breathing deep. Windmill both hands to the chair. Lift that back heel. Like you're pushing that grocery cart. You're going to reach that left arm skyward again. Breathing deep and a nice twist. Back heel is lifted. Like you're waving to somebody or try not to look back at me. Both hands find the chair. Step that back foot in a little bit. All right. We're going to bend the knee so that curl that heel in towards your seat. All right. Very nice. And let's reach that opposite left arm up once again. So we come into an easy, easy dancer pose. I'm curling that heel to the seat. You can bring the knee to the chair if that you need that actual touch point. If not, keep the knee facing the ground and maybe even try a little balance. Drop that foot down, deep breath in, stepping back from the chair, forward fold. And halfway rise. Heart comes forward towards the chair. Circle sweep into chair pose, all the way up. Lovely. All right, stepping back into the chair once again. We go to the other side. So let that left heel leave the ground and firm up that right leg as if it were you know, the, uh, a tree trunk, and this is just kind of coming along. So really get that right side very, very firm, because I'm going to ask you to let the foot leave the ground and leave it off for just a little while. Nice. All right, heel to the seat, hinge at the hip, send it way back. Toe ball heel goes down, and I'm going to windmill that left arm around. And then get your feet set up here. That left toe faces the left wall, the right toe faces the chair, right arm reaches over the chair, left arm reaches back, and voila, <laughs> there we are. 
drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Just take the palms to the left wall, press the knuckles back, one little heart lift. Ah. Breathe in deep. All right, and then come back. Take the gaze over the two piece fingers, or we're gonna come into reverse warrior, lifting up. Keep that knee bent in the front. We tend to straighten it, so keep it bent. Keep it bent. The more you lift, the more you, the more you sink into it. And then we windmill the arms. Both hands on the chair. Lift that back heel. It's like you're pushing the grocery cart here, the lawnmower. And up goes that right arm again. I'm adding this nice twist to this. And the hands can come to the shoulder if that doesn't work. It can stay on your hip. It can stay on the chair. Whatever works. to the chair and slide that back foot in and then bend the knee so the sole of the foot goes to the back wall and I'm working the glute right here and the hamstring to do that you need a little balance go ahead and bring the knee towards the chair you'll get a little balance you'll get less work in the glute and the hamstring otherwise I'm going to press it back soften that supporting leg up goes the right arm again and should you find balance come away maybe tap the chair whenever you need it Let's go back to downward facing dog, stepping back. Oh, that should feel good on that hamstring. If you tip that pelvis forward, you should really feel a nice stretch there. <clears throat> Breathe in deep. All right, bending the knees, hands back to the thigh muscles. Let's reverse one dive back up. Okay, we're gonna come into stool pose instead of chair pose, just a little bend. Send the hips back. So there's a stool right there. In fact, I've got two there. We could practice if you're not sure how to put yourself into it. Okay, eyes up, heart forward. And then turn that tailbone a little more towards the ground. Not down here. You'll miss the chair. It has to be out, but it's just not flipped up, right? You're in that neutral spine. In fact, let's do that. Come right back up. You have a neutral spine. You're not feeling a stretch in the hamstrings. Just neutral spine. <laughs> Okay, so come into that stool pose right there. Again, the muscles of independence. Take a deep breath in, exhale. I want you to imagine that I move the chair back a little bit. So you have to stick your hips back a little bit more to find it, okay? Like where'd it go? Oh, oh, a little bit further. Let's hold this. Toes facing straight ahead. You can still see your toes. Eyes up, yeah. Shoulders back. Little bit more. Reach those hips back. Yeah. Now your weight is really on the heels, mostly. And we're going to rise right back up. Deep breath in. Release. All right. And then give your heel uh, a little swig, a little movement, and maybe pull the heel towards the seat to let those quadricep muscles release a little bit. Yep. Nice. Okay. So we've worked our quadriceps a little bit, hamstrings. Grab a drink of water. I haven't said that because I didn't have any water, so I better go get some. <laughs> okay. All right. thigh work. Come around to the right side of the chair here just a little bit and hold on to the chair for balance. We're going to lift that right knee up. Now you can support it underneath here if that feels better to you. Grab your pants if that feels better for you. Keep that foot flexed and then just let it translate or transfer out to the side without this turning. So whatever range of motion works for you. Hold it out there. Breathe in deep. Maybe you find a little balance. Maybe you don't. We work the outside of that leg there. Nice. Bring the knee in. Let's drop it to the ground. And we're going to extend it to the back. Reach up. Deep breath. Nice. And again, you find a little balance. Keep that handy. That chair handy. Maybe with a little bit of a tap. 
but long line from the fingertip to the heel. The toe can come on the ground or up a little bit higher, working the glute and the hamstring. Let's see if we can go back to where we were, out to the side. Maybe supporting, it's up to you. Into the front. And let's just extend it out to the front. Now, instead of sinking down here, rise up. Oh, lovely. Everybody had a half an inch in there. Beautiful. The leg can go low, but don't you feel nice and tall when you do that? Just try a little balance, maybe. Fingers tapping, whatever feels good. And step out to the side. Nice and wide this time. Release back down. Tuck the tailbone, push off the thighs, round the spine, and roll back up. And then just get a little movement in your head, side to side, maybe circle around. Okay, let's go the other side, same thing. All right, almost a little standing big toe pose, right, with, without the big toe. <laughs> All right, just lifting up on that leg. Secure that right leg. It's the tree trunk to this posture. And then without moving the torso, I'm gonna open this leg. Use this glute and this hamstring to pull that leg over there. And really fire on the glute when you do that. Again. You can hold your tights, your legs, your leggings, that's okay. Anytime you want to try a little balance, go ahead. Keep that chair handy. All right, and back to the front. I'm going to shoot that leg out to the back. Now, you can put the toe on the ground, that's fine. You'll find you're still working those hamstrings. If you want to flex the foot and let it leave the earth, do so. And then I love this image that I've got a rubber band on my toe in the back and right up here in the finger and I'm trying to stretch it far from itself. And again, should you find balance. Alright, rising right back up. Let's take this leg to the front and you can lower it, take it up high, whatever feels good. And one more time, should you find balance. Step out to the side, step wide out there. Drop that right shoulder down. I'm gonna take the fingers downward then. Drop the right shoulder down. And then take the left shoulder. It's like it's got this eyeball. It's gonna look over to the left. There's a little inner thigh stretch. You're putting a little uh, pusher on the leg right there. Toes to the front, round the spine, and roll back up. Let's bring the feet in. Palms to the back, we'll take a little chest expansion here, slide the hands back. I like this keyhole, but you can take hands in your back pocket, whatever works. Slide the knuckles down, lift the heart, slide the shoulder blades down, and then maybe lift. As you lift the heart, the head's going to come up, but once again, never, never, never let it drop back. Breathe deep. Maybe lift the hands from the seat. and then slowly release without being spring-loaded there <laughs> and just shake them out. Let them slap your body there. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Another drink. Oh, downward facing dog. Let's get one more of these in. I like this. Tailbone to the back wall, whatever movement you need here for a moment, all right? And then we'll see if we can come to stillness. So tipping the pelvis forward Soften your knees. Imagine somebody's trying to pull your hips back. You're going to lower the heart between your arms there a little bit towards the earth. Fill the back lungs with breath, the back ribs. Taking the gaze over the chair, a little flex in the back. We're going to walk into the chair. Yeah. Let's take one tip towards the chair, elbows tucked in. Push right back up, a little tricep work. Go ahead and put your weight on the chair there. Pushing back up. Really working those arms. One more time. All the way back up. All right, push away. Nice. A little wiggle. Fingers, toes, wrists. And clap your hands over your head. All the way back to the heart. 
Okay, let's sit back down, grab a drink of water, and we'll finish up here. Okay. All right, so let's take that, um, let's see, that's the right leg out, and I'm going to creep my toes away a little bit. Put your left hand on the chair, and then let that elbow kind of move back a little bit. We're going to lift into my version of wild thing, <laughs> reaching skyward. Yeah, so a lot of stretch on the sh shoulder. Be careful. You can always just hold on to the leg, but please hold on to something <laughs> so nobody falls out. Yeah, lovely. Breathe in deep. All right, and that hand back to the back. We're going to circle it around. It's going to come to that left thigh. And you're gonna to look to the left wall now. So a really nice twist. All right, back to the front, walk that foot in. And you're gonna walk the other one out. A little ankle work when you do that. And then creep it away as much as, as comfortable as you are. Put one hand on the chair, wherever you can get, but firmly planted. I'm gonna scoop up right here. Reach to the ceiling too much, take the fingertips on the shoulder, that's okay. You get a nice stretch from the fingertips down to the hip bone there. I like to lean back a little bit, but I've got hand firm, hand firmly planted. Reach. All right, let's circle that arm back and around, clean off the table. The hands are right there on the thigh, sit nice and tall, look to that right wall, let the shoulders release away from the ears. Coming back to the front, walk that foot back in. Nice and tall. And let's cross that leg over. Two options. You could actually cross down low too. That doesn't matter to me at all. Hands together, elbows together, a little stretch across the back. <coughs> and then I'm going to cross one hand over. So the knuckles are together. My hands are low right here. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to inhale and lift and exhale and lower. Inhale, just lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. And exhale, lower. All right, let's open out to our goal post, and we're going to cross the other leg over instead. You can cross down low or up high. It doesn't matter. Oh, I should have asked you to remember what hand you hand crossed over. <laughs> but I forgot. But cross the other one. <laughs> I should have asked. <laughs> So the elbows are down first, and then inhale, lift. Whatever you're comfortable with, you feel that great stretch across the back, you want to work at drawing those elbows together. Nice stretch up and down that back. All right, so open, uncross, goal post arms. Now I'm going to hinge forward, but keep those elbows back. All right, they're going to want to come forward. Keep them back. Extend. Let's pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Hinging forward. Four, three, two, one. Reach back. Hold that beach ball. Maybe grab the chair. It's up to you. What's that movie? That um, Poseidon? No, it wasn't. The Poseidon. Is that the Poseidon Adventure? Oh, we want, but Leonardo DiCaprio is out on the edge of the boat. Which oh, one is that? Titanic. 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 It's my Titanic movie. <laughs> Circle sweep. <laughs> and all the way down. Boy, that's really dating me. How the Poseidon adventure. I love it. It was a boat. Yeah. All right. All the way back to the seat, but just the pelvis there. Extend the feet out in front. A little flex. Point the toes. Staff pose, L sit, let's reach to the ceiling. Deep breath in. And then a little more wiggle up there. And circle them down. All right, hands back to the heart. And I did this yesterday, just kind of swing your feet. Now, if you're really tall, you probably can't do that, and I apologize. <laughs> but those of us who are not quite as tall can. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Lovely, keep your feet flexed. You know, I kind of went like this, though. You can also do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, feels good, huh? Yeah, just good on the knees. All right, and just settle right back down. Now roll that spine into the back. Give it one last little massage, put back into it. And then 
those powerful jaw muscles. Let them relax. Oh, maybe unfurl the eyebrows. A little massage on the shoulders or the arms if that feels good. Take a nice deep breath in and just come to stillness again. For those 45 minutes, which we're still in, you found balance. Harmony. And now you just reap the benefits of that. Centered. to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Some new life. Bring the fingers together, hands to your heart, drop your chin to your chest. The inside of my bowl here says peace. this Lent bring more peace in the way we live in the world and more love in the way we live in it. Namaste. 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 Thank you. All right. Good work. Good work. It was good to be here. Yes? Yeah, so may I say something that I learned? Yeah. The Ukrainian way to pronounce K-I-E-V or K-Y-E-V is Kiev, uh -huh. and the Russian way is Kiev. Well, let's be right. careful about so that. Let's be careful about that, for sure. I have my Ukrainian color on today, but the yellow shirt was a tank top. And <laughs> Come to Zuma tomorrow, I'll have it on. <laughs> All right. So, let's stick around for a treat. Where are you doing Zumba? Oh, at Catalyst. Well, then I'll go back.